they're such tremendous advocates and we really need to hear their voices and their stories which are so powerful and which tell us that we have to do uh, more to address college affordability and the enormous debt load that students are bearing these days to get a higher education. Tonight is the State of the Union address and we are all hoping to hear very strong words from our president about uh, this crisis that we're facing right now and uh, a path to address it, to solve it. And I'm proud to be a big part of that with the America's College Promise Act. It was great. It was really nice dialoguing with a senator that's really fighting for the values that we as a as the generation of youth are really fighting for. She's fighting for financial aid, she's fighting for state investment, and she really understands the needs of the youth of America right now. It was pretty interesting. It was very informative and I believe she has really good aspects in it. The way she's going with uh, extending the parking problems, which is I'm very grateful for because it does give us a little bit more of that gap that we're missing. Uh, to pay our tuition, so that's pretty great. I appreciate the extension on that. Yeah, I'm really excited to hear what she has to say. Um, it's been really exciting to be able to speak with her, to, to come in and have her sacrifice some of her time to talk to us about the issues of uh, like specifically refinancing student loan debt. It's nice to hear um, about uh, the Senator's plans uh, for college affordability, specifically with uh, student refinancing uh, for loans. Um, it's really nice to hear about a new plan for that because what we have going on in the state right now is the former plan from the Democrats um, to introduce uh, uh, something for refinancing student loans at the lowest rate. And uh, a couple days ago we heard the governor say that this was implausible and that it didn't work in other places. Um, yet uh, this is something that's crucial uh, for students to go to school and be able to afford uh, the college in general. And the senator did a great job um, of speaking about that and her plans for that specifically and what she's proposing. It was very good. It was informative. It was nice to see the senator um, and just has, have a casual conversation with her um, about issues of affordability and, and how Wisconsin is moving forward. I hope that the president continues to push uh, on the issue of college affordability and, and get some of the issues uh, put out there uh, for this last year of his presidency. Yes, I do hope the president does address college affordability tonight the State of the Union. I think it's um, not only a problem in the state of Wisconsin, but obviously nationwide. Um, hopefully that's something he does cover um, and, and goes into depth about um, student affordability and the, the um, gross debt that we're seeing um, all over the nation and, and how we plan to combat that, or at least some solutions. In President Barack Obama's last State of the Union, he's going to talk about a number of issues, but one that I know he'll talk about, one that we're all very excited that he's going to talk about, is that of student debt. It's time that America starts investing in our youth for our social values, for our economic values, because it's time to start believing in the youth again.